Okay, so what if you're a spiritual seeker and you're doing spiritual work and you're in these, I guess, party situations with, with women and you no longer feel like chatting them up and uh, you no longer feel like playing the usual dating sort of dialogue or as you're letting go of your own, doing your own spiritual work, it's no longer appealing any longer and um, that that can happen and that can bring up also fear you know like you know am I going to become like living on a rock with no no relationships or something that can bring up bring up some kind of fear as well um, for me there's a few things I'd say if you're doing a lot of spiritual work especially things like the observer uh, where you're going to that which is observing your thoughts and letting go of your personality and your identity then, um, uh, you know, the, the interest in the usual playing games and dating and trying to put on a persona like I'm an amazing person, you should go out with me on a date kind of thing can drop away and it can seem quite artificial. And it can seem like it's on a, on a vibratory band or an ego band that you no longer wish to participate in. It's, longer, it's like below your vibration, it can start to feel like. And you're starting to feel... That, as you do spiritual work, as you go up the levels of consciousness, uh, there are periods when certain things are no longer attractive. Probably attractive is the wrong word, they're no longer appealing. And I would say that's okay as well for periods of time. With uh, doing spiritual work, there's always a deeper layer you can go to. So if it's there for a while, I mean, for me, it's like, I like doing the observer, so it's like, if, uh, let's say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the observer, oh, that girl's pretty. Well, let me go to the observer within me, the witnesser within me, that's finding that girl attractive. And then I'm in the witnesser of my thoughts and the impulse, the desire, the craving for the girl. I go to the observer of that, and then I'm in the witnessing, detached witnesser of that, and suddenly the detached witnesser isn't attracted. And actually, the, to play the game with the girl is no longer appealing. So it's like fine, and if you keep doing that, you will lose the you will lose the lose the need or the the cravingness or the need to think, and it will also feel a little bit out of sync to to start to play the game that you, people play at that level of consciousness. I would say that 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 that's okay, if you um, but usually if you keep going through the to the observer of that, you know uh, then. A few things can happen. Usually, sometimes it you have to. It's good to go to spiritual groups and have a spiritual mentor because sometimes you can go into states which are a bit like what I'd call frozen, frozen states or what I call numb states, where uh, you no longer have the desire for women or dating or chatting up a girl, and you go, it's just not there. I've been doing my spiritual work, I'm going to the observer. I've been like, or the course in miracles, you know, like. This woman is as meaningless as the plant, which is a meaningless... I've done that as well, you know, like if I get an attraction to a woman, then I'll, you know, I can have a, like I can have a picture of the woman and then look at the picture of the woman and say, this is as meaningless as the cup of tea, which is as meaningless as the lamp, which is as meaningless as the plant. And if you keep doing that every day, very soon you can't think of the person. They, they lose their glamorous, special sort of shininess, starts to dissolve. And it's like, you know, I'm not going to obsess about a plant for, for the day or be, be worried that this plant doesn't like me. It's like, it, it's, like it's, not, it's not important. So it does actually work. You know, you, that, that magical special projection, or Hawkins would call it the, the, the glamour, the glamour starts to dissolve from that. And it's like, I wouldn't, like, my life will be better if this plant likes me. It's not, it's not going to happen. So that gets stripped away. Or if you keep to going to the observer, it gets stripped away. But when, if you've got someone more advanced than you, then, or you go to a group, some people will detect that you're not there yet. It's not that you still have, it's, it's more like you're in a state where you're numb, or you're dissociated, not dissociated, numb, frozen. Or you, you've still got more to go before you're sort of alive. You know, like, when everyone's had those wonderful spiritual states, there's, there's a wonderful aliveness and presence. To life and there's a joy to life and it's not necessarily um, a detachment 
So when I do the observer in the beginning, I might go into a place which might feel a bit detached. But then as you dissolve that out, what's observing the, the numbness or whatever, then you come to a place of more, more of, 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 uh, of, um, of, of presence, of, of a happy presence. But it's not, it becomes free of uh, magical projections. Magical projections. Because magical projections, uh, I, I like this one thing because we've got some Hawkins people. There's one thing I remember on one of the Hawkins uh, videos I watched. It's like he said, he's eating his lunch, right? And he's enjoying his sandwich. And then suddenly the phone rings and he picks up the phone and then he speaks on the phone and he's totally forgotten about the sandwich. And he'll even forget to go back and eat the sandwich because he's in the present moment with the phone call. And the last moment is completely gone. Yeah, the last moment is completely gone and you're absorbed in the joy of the phone call. So he, there's this razor sharpness to be in the present moment. And everything, there isn't, a, there isn't like more joy in the sandwich than there is in the phone call, you know. So, if you know from an ego level, when I'm in the ego with a woman, then it's like, oh, I'm happy because of the woman, and when the woman is gone, I'm sad, because in the next moment the woman has just gone out the door. So that's like a magical projection, yeah. So you want to dissolve that, but you don't want to be like. Uh, I'm feeling bad or I feel like something's missing but I'm not really attracted to women so there's a bit more clearing to do so that's what I'd say with um, also I'd say that uh, this is just my view and other people can disagree with this but I think as you let go of your ego eventually you get tested you know it's like there's a fear that comes up like I'm becoming boring I have nothing to say to women and if I carry on like this, I'll never be able to talk to a woman. They'll think I'm nuts. And, uh, and so I should go back. I should re-engage my ego so that I can, uh, so at least I can think up with a good chat line, you know, like you're looking pretty or you've got a nice smile or something like that. I need my ego. You know, I, I better start thinking because this is dangerous or I'll be boring uh, for the rest of my life. So for me, I don't, I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't want to, re-engage my ego. I'd rather go through that and then go to, the, and go to a place of wholeness and peace and presence and then trust the universe will give me, if it's the universe's will, mm -hmm. will, will attract women on this new vibration if that's, mm -hmm. if that's the universe's will. And I don't necessarily need to be playing the dating, chat up line mm -hmm. sort of thing. And you know, maybe I'll get a, you know, I'll get a, a girl that's into silent retreats. You know, it's like I sit here and silent. She's silent, and the universe goes. You know, it's like you don't need to speak to women. You just like just be in silence with them. You know, so it's like. We'd never <laughs> now I know that will probably upset some people. You know, that listens to this, but that it's like. Last week. <laughs> <laughs> so I trust that you know, even if I become like a silent like guy, you know. And the universe thinks that your severe needs like a girl, you know. The universe might give me like a silent girl or something, you know, something like that. The universe has infinite, infinite, infinite ability to, to match you up. But there's a fear, you know. I, I just want to say like, you know, you can get worried. Like, you know, like someone can ask me like, I'm worried. I don't, I don't feel like talking to women. And I'm losing my usual identity and I can't communicate to women in the usual way. And like, is something bad happening? Should I re-engage my ego? Mm. And, uh, and a lot of people will have this, because every time you let go of something, there's fear. Like, I won't fit in, I won't be able to earn money, uh, the, in, in no one will, everyone will reject me. And for me, everyone can make their own choice. You can always keep your ego re reactivated. But for me, it's like, I always want to go to the next level, and I want to go through the fear, and just trust that the universe is on my side. But when you let go, it's not going to be the way your ego wants it, maybe. You know, it might be, you know, I think for some people they might not have a relationship. For some they might, you know, or it'll be in a different form, you know. So that's the thing. I think the, the bit that I want to say on that is that it's good to be have a mentor or group because sometimes there's more to dissolve around it, you know. Because you don't want to feel deprived, you know, like uh, I, I just don't feel like I'm attracted to women and I feel something's missing out in my life or something like that, then something more spiritual work needs to be done.
Another question about yep. something you said. Yep. What's the difference between being frozen and being dissociated? That's a really good question. Uh, frozen and dissociated. Um, that's probably my choice of words wasn't quite right. So if I'm feeling, uh, see, I, I, would, I would say that they're, um, they're, they're subtle, subtleties. I think dissociated means not, not really feeling connected to the body and the mind, uh, feeling a bit split off. And I, frozen is more like I can't connect to my feelings. That's my, that's my intuition on it. But both of those states, for me, can be cleared up in the same way. It's the same answer to both questions, whether they're the, what, what's the, the difference in the subtleties, is that, um, some, you know, for example, you can, you can use the, the well, hookers would call it letting go, you can use the field of feelings out on both of them, or you can use the observer on both of them. So let's say I'm feeling dissociated or I'm feeling frozen. So how am I experiencing frozenness or dissociation? So let me just let, let, me let go of my mentalization and labeling of this state and just allow it to be. So allow the frozenness just to be without going into labeling or putting a story onto it and just let it start to evaporate. Let the frozenness, or let, don't label the dissociated state and, and just, just be with it 100%, welcome it, and don't distract and keep being with it and then they'll start to dissolve into nothingness. And once they've completely dissolved, then you're through the frozen or the dissociated states. The same thing would go with the observer. Um, let's say I'm feeling dissociated or, or frozen well, what's observing frozenness? Or what's observing the dissociated state? You know, what, what's, what's, what witnesses a frozen state arising and disappearing? What, uh, what witnesses dissociated states and non-dissociated states? Is the observer of a dissociated and non-dissociated state dissociated? The observer is not dissociated, and the observer is not frozen. So in those ways you collapse both the frozen or the dissociated state because something is aware. Whenever you've got something like I'm frozen, I feel dissociated, I feel something's not right. When those things arise in consciousness, there is something that is aware of that. So that means the observer of that is aware that something's not right. Does that make sense? Or if something's not right, then you can just allow it to be without labeling it or making a story or entering into thought about it and just let it be until it dissolves away until things feel that they're now authentic so that so wherever you are you know something gives you a cue that you're not there but actually i think there's a great thing that i heard from hawkins which was wherever you are there's probably there's more to go you know, having had a white light spiritual experience, if you're still here in a body and thinking and running around in contrast, there's still more to, to go, because um, that's from my own experience. Because um, the highest, in some of my highest experiences, there was no world. There was no this or that. There was no shadow. It was like infinite light, love and power. And the world didn't exist, so. Okay, yeah, that's a great question.